And just to be sure, in case you get evidence questions, like you see over here, you might be asked to create an evidence document in your exam. So for example, it says here, you're required to provide evidence of your work, including screenshots at various stages. Create a document called Center Number Canada Number Evidence RTF. And uh, they give you an example. Place your name, Center Number Canada Number, in the header of your evidence document. So what you do is open up Microsoft Word. Open up something like that looks like this. And you just insert your information into the header. So you go insert header. You would then choose the three blank text boxes and you put your information in the header. So they say name, I'll put my name on the left, then center number, so put center number maybe in the middle, and then candidate number, which we can probably put in the end. And then I'll just say close header and footer. All right, so, and then you'd save it as they state over here. So then you would just go File, Save As, and you'd call it the name that they want you to call it. So let's see what would happen over here. So I'm just going to paste it. So you'd have your center number, underscore your candidate number, underscore evidence, and you would save it as an RTF file. They've got RTF there, so not Word document here. You'd make sure it's RTF, which is rich text format, and you'd just say save. Okay, so I'm going to show you, then once you imported your tables, or your files like you saw in the previous videos, they say evidence one, place in your evidence document screenshots to show the structure of the tables, including the field names, data types, and key fields okay, of the tables. So in access, if we have imported our tables, as you see here, to show this information, to show the structure of the tables, including the field names, data types, and key fields, all you do for each table is you go Home, View, Design View. And here you see the field names, and the data types, and the key field, that little key. So you take a screenshot of this, Go to your evidence document. It'll give you evidence document and names. So this is evidence one. This is evidence one. You'd paste your screenshot and crop off everything else except the information that you want to be seen. And then just resize it. I'll make evidence one maybe bold here. And I'm going to do the next table. So that's employees. So I'm just going to go view, data sheet view, take it back to normal. Double click on jobs, view, design view. Might come up with a message like that, it might not, just say yes if it is. Screenshot, because there are field names, data types, and the key field. So I'm going to paste it here, so right click, paste, double click on it, click on crop, crop off everything. Don't need. And just resize it so it's visible. So field names, data types, and key field must be shown. Then the next table. So I'm going to double click on venue, view design view, and I'm going to take a screenshot, paste it, double click on it, crop, crop off everything you don't need. There we go, it's almost there. So this is just if you have to provide evidence. So just careful, the last one is venue type. So view design view. Print screen. Paste it. Crop off what you don't need. And then enlarge it. Okay, so that is the first one. That's evidence one in this case, where we show the structure, including field names, data types, and key fields. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Field names, data types, key field. The next one, place your evidence document screenshots to show the relationships between these tables and each relationship type.
So this is evidence two. So what you do is then go evidence two. Make this a bit bold. Okay, so to show the relationships with its database tools, as you saw in the previous video, relationships. I'm going to first take a screenshot of this to show the relationships between the tables. Paste it, crop off what we don't need. I'm just going to leave it like this. So that's showing the relationships between the tables. But then you're going to see that you're going to have to show also each relationship type. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this line once. You have to double click on it. Take a screenshot of this menu because there's the relationship type, one to many. And I'm going to paste it. And you've got to do this for each line connecting the tables. So I'm going to do that for each one. So click on this once. Double click, print screen. It's gone to the next page, but it's fine. Paste, crop off what you don't need. Enlarge it. And then the last one, double click, print screen. It's one too many as well. Paste, crop off what you don't need. And then that is that evidence question finished. Okay, cool. So that is if you need to show evidence of your table structures of field names, data types, and key fields, and showing the relationships and the type of relationship uh, between each table. Hope that's okay.